these goblins definitely want to set us on fire. So let's run to the left. Oops, we are not visible anymore. But we can come back. Focus now. Because what I am about to say is very important. The size of your game is determined, so it is set by these lines here. This is called view, which is what the user sees, views, when the game starts. If we move our goblins outside, what will happen? Let's see. Will they appear? Yes, because they were outside of the view. It's not like they were not in the game. So your game is really like unlimited here. You need to set where is the boundary of your game. We already have one boundary at the bottom and we set it in previous lectures with the static body 2D and the word boundary shape. Because of that, our player has a place where he can stand. Without this floor, our player would fall down and keep falling to this unlimited space that we have here, right? It means that you can expand the world of your game in any direction, left, right, top, bottom. You have unlimited space. Here. But how do we make this player to be followed by what the player sees? We need to set something that I'm going to show you soon. But before that, I want to show you a very important thing, how to change the size of this lines because well you not always you want to start the game from the size like this in order to change it we go into project project settings then you choose the from the display window and here you have something that is called viewport width and height and if you change this to for example size like this our view got bigger right but we still can't follow the player we need to change it right we need to like attach something that will follow the player like a virtual camera. And in Godot, when you attach to a node, like for example, player, using Ctrl A and typing here, camera to D. As you can see, we have got now here a new node from now on. And this node is set initially to the size of the game. As you can see, this rectangle it has the same size as this, but it is what? In different place, it is set to what? To player at the start. And this means this is the center of the camera view. So this is what player is going to see. Please notice that we have got here three goblins and they are outside of this purple thing. And they won't be visible, even though we are within this rectangle that we talked about before. Because after we set a camera to player, this is what the user of your game will see, not this, okay? So when I play it, we do not see goblins, but they will come soon to us. You have probably also noticed that it didn't seem like we have fall down, right? It's because this camera is like moving and following us, right? So it was like this. We fell down, right? And the camera also moved down like this. Huh? So they are moving like together now. We could you know, stick this. So it's like this. We opened the game and it was like, Nyop! and we didn't notice it because we don't have a background. But if we put, for example, mushroom here like this, okay, and play. You will notice, ah, okay, we fell down. We didn't have like something that we could relate to before. So these guys are outside of this scope now, right? And this is camera. We can zoom in, for example, the camera when we do something like this, okay? Like, hey, I want it to be two times like this. And as you can see, now the size of our game is what? Is the size that we set before, right? So we set it in the project settings and display and window, but the camera view is, you know, zoomed now. We zoomed in, this is what we see, that's all. So now let's put mushroom, for example, here. Okay. And again, one more here. So as you can see, we can see one mushroom and we are moving towards another mushroom. Also notice that this is going to follow the player node, which means that we don't need to do it like this. We can set camera in different places, like for example, this way. And this is okay because uh, notice that uh, sometimes the player is not like in the middle of the game always, but he's at the beginning, for example, right? So let's make the camera flow like this. Oh, okay. So I'm not in the middle now, but the camera is like looking here always when the player is moving. Okay. 